In this video, I'm going to show you X-Plane 11 on the HP Reverb through the lens and this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about a VR and air as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. This is the HP Reverb and the visual quality is simply unmatched. Without further ado, let's check out X-Plane 11 through the lens. And here we go. This is the cockpit of a Cessna. And I'm filming this through the lens, as you can tell now, with my smartphone. So this method of doing through the lens videos, well, it works. And it works well enough to give you an idea. And as you know, I've already done the same thing with my Oculus Quest through the lens footage. And I thought like, hey, why not also do this here with the HP Reverb? Since the visual quality is simply unmatched still until now, this is the best visual quality that I've seen in VR ever. And simply imagine now to see this with two eyes in 3D at the perfect distance without all these problems that you see now with the reflections that you see because I'm filming this through the lens. It is stunning. It is completely breathtaking and you can read everything perfectly. All the gauges, everything, this nice display, especially this display that you can see there right now. It looks so cool since you can see some reflections in the display showing off the inside of the cockpit. It is simply breathtaking and I have never seen anything like this before. For all the problems here with the video material, it is not the HP Reverb's fault. It is actually the fault of my smartphone. So no worries about that in VR. This looks really good. So actually what I'm trying to do now or what I tried when I was doing this recording with my smartphone, I tried to fly <laughs> the Cessna now with my one free hand. <laughs> so you will see how well that ended <laughs> now. So I could barely see anything and I had to look onto the smartphone screen to make this happen, hold everything with the left hand and then try to fly with the right hand. And yeah, as you can tell, it didn't really work out well. But anyways, I kept this footage inside since I thought it, that might be, uh, yeah, at least a little bit amusing. And I think I was flying there for one second here now. Yeah, but then, yeah, I think now I'm not moving any anymore at all. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but at least, I'm still living, so that is good. So what did I learn from this? Don't try to fly the Cessna while doing a through the lens video. And actually I tried to restart the motor, but nothing worked anymore. I totally killed that Cessna. Anyway, should, should we be moving on to the next cockpit? I think so. I think we've seen enough here in this Cessna through the lens and yeah, I don't get this started anymore. So let's do this and let's check out another cockpit this time of a Boeing 747-800. And here we are through the lens of the HP Reverb in x 11 with the Boeing 747-800. And yeah, on the left bottom you see it's truly through the lens. And what do we see? we see that it looks amazing. It looks nearly photorealistic. Oh my friggin' goodness. That's the only thing I can say here. And sitting in that Boeing 747 on the pilot seat, seeing everything here, it makes me think like, all right, I totally do understand now why simulations, why simulators are so fascinating to so many people and why there are so many hardcore fans of Sims. And of course, also, especially for x 11 and DCS. It must be so friggin' amazing to learn to fly this machine at home 
without having to pay like thousands of dollars for pilot training. You can do everything at home and with the HP Reverb, it well, it becomes like photorealistic. Look at this. Just look at all the knobs. Look at all the, the text here. You can read everything just as if you would be sitting in that pilot seat of that 747 800. It, it is spectacular. It is simply spectacular. That's the only thing I can say. Truly amazing and have never seen something good looking in VR as using the HP Reverb. Fantastic. Yeah, let's look a bit around here in the cockpit. Not that I would understand what all these knobs are doing. And well, if you know what all these knobs are doing, then I would say like amazing. Amazing that you know all this stuff. And I would truly love to be able to fly this machine. I, I really hope that I had more time to get into this, to, to spend like hours and hours to learn how to fly this and to enjoy X-Plane 11. And for all of this, for all these video reviews and for all this through the lens videos, actually I bought X-Plane 11. I do think I should totally <laughs> use that money um, or that investment and, and learn a bit learn to fly one of those machines probably not this machine but but the Cessna the Cessna actually I already like uh, launched it myself <laughs> which was not so complicated well not in this video I mean before without trying to do it through the lens anyways let's try another cockpit now and this time let's do a helicopter And here we are now in the cockpit of a helicopter. Sorry, I do not remember what kind of helicopter that actually is. I know that you for sure know it. So please do let us know in the comment section below what actually this helicopter is called. Anyways, let's have a look here at the gauges and at this hel helicopter in general. Again, it simply looks stunning. It feels like you're sitting in this helicopter. You have all these switches. You can read everything perfectly. And it feels like you're sitting in that helicopter. It's just like close to photorealism. Once again, this resolution is the absolute sweet spot for virtual reality. Two times 2K per eye and things simply look stunning. Just like this, you'll be able to read all the gauges, all the text, all everything, all and everything. It is so good. And if you're a fan of simulators of, of games or Sims like X-Plane 11 or DCS, you will simply love, you're going to love the HP Reverb simply because of this amazing resolution. So hopefully, hopefully the general public will be able to buy the HP Reverb as soon as possible. I have no idea myself why the launch on 6 May didn't happen. And uh, I also don't have any information when actually this will go on sale, but hopefully as soon as possible. And that's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.